Gru gets kicked out of the anti-villain league, has to deal with a powerful diamond thief, and discovers he has a twin brother with aspirations to be a big-time criminal. That is why today on The Summarize, Despicable Me 3. Gru's story continues with a TV report about an old 80s show that ruled in 1985 called Evil Brat, starring a kid of the same name who was a prodigy and a criminal. His fame was huge until Hollywood canceled him as he grew into a teen, losing his stardom. Now, years later, Brat still sports the same look despite being over 30. He's become a real villain, using his slick dance moves to sneak onto a cargo ship while Silas and his team sense something's up. Luckily, Gru, Lucy, and a couple of minions are deep-sea diving, aiming to handle the situation. Back on the ship, Brat's forbidden dance moves lead him to the vault, where he grabs a massive diamond. Using a Rubik's Cube, he dodges the military and with magical bubblegum, sends the ship airborne. Meanwhile, the minions end up flying onto a beach where two cute girls ask if they're okay, and it seems like love at first sight. At the same time, Gru manages to board the ship and faces off with Brat in a showdown of gadgets until Gru resorts to a water pistol, thanks to his daughters. They end up in a brawl, but Gru manages to snatch the diamond. The problem is Brat uses a magical keyboard to strip him down and float him away with the gum. When the military arrives, the villain escapes, and Gru is left embarrassed as people mock him and snap photos. The next day, Gru and Lucy head to a secret anti-villain league meeting, where Silas announces his retirement and introduces the new boss, Valerie Da Vinci, a stern and controlling woman. Valerie immediately demands Gru, furious that he let Brad escape, firing him on the spot. Lucy defends him, saying she'll quit too because she won't leave him, and they're both out of the organization. They return home disappointed, finding the door ajar. Gru is on edge, expecting the worst, but they're kidnapped before they can defend themselves. Fortunately, it's a surprise from their three daughters who've planned a romantic honeymoon-like evening, complete with music and gross gummy soup. The girls are thrilled their parents are secret agents and ask about their latest adventures. Gru tells them what happened, and the girls are disappointed they don't have parents with normal jobs. Later, Gru meets with all the minions, who hope they'll go back to being villains as usual. But Gru insists they stay on the straight and narrow. It turns out Dr. Nefario was accidentally frozen in carbonite, and they need him for a crime. In response, the minions put on a presentation, comparing the good old days of villainy to their current boring lives. But it's not enough to convince Gru, who's set on staying out of trouble. This sparks a big argument, and all the minions decide to quit. Well, except for two who decide to stay by Gru's side, and now manage his lab. Meanwhile, in Paris, Monsieur Pompo arrives on police orders to secure the city's most beautiful diamond. Suddenly, he starts darting the security guards, claiming they've been fooled, revealing it's actually Brat disguised, who steals the jewel without getting caught. That night, Lucy tries to lift Gru's spirits, feeling like a failure, assuring him everything's okay. In the street, the minion army encounters a suited man trying to find Gru's house, but they won't help him because they want nothing to do with their old boss. At dawn, Gru finds Agnes selling her favorite toys to help since he's unemployed. The suited man returns, revealing his father recently died, and he has a twin brother who wants to reconnect. Gru doesn't believe him since his father died years ago, but the stranger shows him a baby photo, making him start to doubt. He seeks out his mother, who confirms it's true. They split the baby's like in the parent trap. Thanks to this, Gru's family flies to an island where they find a grand, flashy mansion belonging to the lost twin, filled with pigs, and they have a heartfelt reunion. Gru's brother is named Drew, with a big blonde mane and a great sense of humor, warmly greeting Lucy and the girls while the minions have a blast with the butler. Turns out, Drew's a millionaire with dozens of cars and planes, but none of it convinces our favorite villain, suspicious that something's off. Lucy convinces him to give it a chance, leaving the brothers alone to bond for the first time, while Brat remembers his glory days with the diamond in his possession. Hours later, the twins walk through the garden, Drew opens a secret gate, and they enter a cave with statues of their ancestors. But the best part is finding their late father's lair, known as Bald Terror, leaving Gru eager for more answers. Drew confesses to Gru that their father always admired him for following in his villainous footsteps, but was constantly disappointed in Drew for not doing the same. So now Drew asks for Gru's help to become a villain in honor of their father's memory. Gru isn't initially convinced, but changes his mind upon seeing their father's powerful car. They take it for a ride together while their family visits a lively village festival, testing Lucy's mothering skills. Meanwhile, Agent Lucy convinces Margot to dance with a rejected boy, but things quickly go awry when she loses track of the other two girls. They end up in a shop where the owner claims unicorns are real, sparking excitement in the youngest girl who dreams of seeing one. Luckily, she screams in joy, helping Lucy locate her. The brothers make a pit stop to rob a candy store against Gru's reluctance, getting caught by the police who start chasing them. So now Gru takes charge of the car to ensure their escape. 
Meanwhile, the minions are tired, hungry, and unsure of what to do, so they decide to chase a pizza delivery guy and get into trouble with the guards. They seek refuge in a place and accidentally end up on a talent show stage where they must improvise a performance. The audience cheers for them, but they're still in trouble as the police surround them. At the beach, Drew is excited about continuing a life of crime and convinces Gru to join him, so Gru suggests stealing the world's best diamond. Back at home, the twins dress up as each other, but it doesn't go over well with their family, although it's clear they get along. Agnes tells Gru she's excited and convinced she'll find a unicorn. Praying for it to happen quickly, Gru decides to go after her to explain unicorns aren't real, but regrets it as he doesn't want to disappoint her. The minions end up in prison, but quickly adapt. One of them reminisces about their adventures with Gru and convinces the others to join him in escaping. Meanwhile, Brat, dancing 80s style and in possession of the giant diamond, plots revenge while watching his old TV episodes. The younger sisters set out into the forest with all the sweets they can carry, setting a trap to lure a unicorn. Gru briefs his novice brother on the plan, explaining the security measures at Brat's mansion and assigning him as the getaway driver while he steals the diamond. Initially hesitant, Drew eventually agrees and they quickly suit up to begin the mission. At the same time, Lucy helps Margot fend off a lovestruck loser, causing some friction with the boy's mother and proving she can be a protective mom. Lucy notices the twins heading out in the boat and suspects they're up to something. The other two girls are surprised to find a creature eating their sweets, a small goat with a single horn. For some reason, Agnes is convinced it's a real unicorn. As the brothers approach Brett's house, Gru imagines returning the diamond to the anti-villain league to reclaim his job, but keeps this from his twin. They embark on their mission, and the novice villain disobeys Gru to get involved. Scaling a perilous wall, things get dicey, but miraculously, they survive. Gru takes the lead while Drew complicates the mission, but they manage to break in, with Gru giving his twin the confidence to carry on. In prison, the minions secretly scheme and manage to escape unnoticed by the police and other inmates. Inside Brad's mansion, the twins spot him sleeping with the diamond, accidentally waking him, but he mistakes it for an alarm. Continuing onward, they find a room full of the actor's toys, a gum factory, and the twin decides to steal a pair while they follow their rival. This complicates the mission again as Brat discovers them, but the novice manages to trap him with his magical gum. They're pursued by robot toys, both ending up outside and falling, miraculously rescued by Lucy in a helicopter. Drew tells Lucy his plan to regain his job at the Anti-Villain League, but Drew disagrees, feeling used and lied to for personal gain, causing a rift between them. Back home, Agnes tells Gru she found a unicorn, and he decides to tell her the truth. It's just a goat, trying to teach her a life lesson, but she continues to believe in magic. Lucy, genuinely happy to be home, takes the diamond and boards the girls onto a plane, falling into a trap as it turns out to be Brat in disguise, with the real Lucy kidnapped. Gru seeks out his twin brother, they reconcile, and together rescue the girls, joined by the minions to form a super squad. Brad quickly returns to Hollywood with vengeance, causing chaos and destroying the iconic sign, leaving the girls on a building's peak to execute his plan of trapping the city in a giant gumball. Lucy goes after the girls, while the twins battle Brat's giant robot, including mini robots, in an epic clash, until Drew manages to get inside and disable it just as Brad is about to harm his brother. The minions unite to destroy the massive gumball over the city, and in an epic dance battle, Gru defeats Brett, sending him flying far away with his own tricks. Soon after, the brothers reunite with their family and the minions, restoring Hollywood and becoming a happy, effective team once again. Time passes, and we see the girls calling Lucy mom, Drew now living with them in the lab and sleeping with the minions, convincing them one night to return to a life of crime. That was Despicable Me 3. Don't forget to like, comment on what movies you want to see next, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next videos.